Hey guys, it's Sophie. So first I'm going to start out with the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. I'm pretty sure this is a shade Classic Ivory. I'm just going to uh, put that all over my face and make sure it's all blended out for an even base. So yeah, I'm just doing that. Next, I'm using the Maybelline uh, Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Brightening just to brighten my under eyes and make them look all nice and brightened. <laughs> um, then I'm using the ColourPop Sculpting Stick in the shade Dove and I'm adding a little bit of contour just to make my face look a little bit darker in the contoured areas. <laughs> And, um, yeah, giving my face a little bit more definition. And I'm blending that out as well. Next, I am just using the ColourPop highlighter in Lunch Money to give myself an extra bit of glow. And then setting all of that with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 003, I'm pretty sure. Next, I'm priming my eyelids to make sure the eyeshadow stays on. And then I'm just going to set that as well. Then I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and using the shade uh, Salted Caramel. It's like this brown orange color. Putting that in my crease. Then I'm using the Perfect Tim Palette by Sip and Glory and just using like a taupe color. And then I am using some concealer to make a half cut crease on my eyelid. So you just start at the corner of your eye and go to about the half of your lid. Then I am using some ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Birthday Girl. This is like the super shock shadow. And I am just putting that and blending it out a little bit. And then using another ColourPop shadow, but it's pressed. Uh, it's a pressed shadow. And it's in the shade Come and Get It. And I'm putting that on the outer half. And then using the chocolate bar in the shade Tr Champagne Truffle. Putting that on the inner half of my lid. Then I'm using a Sephora eyeliner just to create some wings. I did get a little bit uh more dramatic than I wanted to, but that's okay. I did it, and it looked pretty good, so I'm proud of myself. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just creating a wing, and it takes a lot of precision. Pre pre precision, yeah. Then I'm just bronzing up using um, the Hula Bronzer. It's like one of my go-tos. I use it all the time. Then I'm using the Tarte Pro Glow To Go palette with the bronzy shade and just making it a little bit more intense. I'm just keeping on blending that out and awkwardly staring at myself in the mirror to make sure the makeup looks amazing. <laughs> um, then I am uh, going to put on some blush. This is the Luminoso by, or Luminoso by Milani. And then using the same like highlighting uh, Tarte palette and putting some of that on my inner corners. And then finishing up my lash line using the same colors we did in the crease. Then I'm just curling my eyelashes as usual. You should always do that because it just makes them look amazing and more awesome. And then I'm using the Buxom Mascara, and I really like this, it separates your lashes. And then I'm highlighting my Cupid's bow, like with a special different brush, just cause I felt extra. Then I'm highlighting again, it's with the same Tarte Pro Glow To Go palette. But I'm just highlighting my cheekbones, my nose, um, my chin, my Cupid's bow more. I love this. It's beautiful. You should definitely get it. It's definitely worth all your money. Not all your money, but you know what I mean. It's worth your money. <laughs> um, then I'm going to line my lips with a NYX lip pencil. This is like petal pink or something like that. 
I'll try to list the shape below. And then I'm using a Tarte li uh, liquid satin lip. I mean, not Tarte, ColourPop liquid satin lip in the shade Barracuda. I love this, it's beautiful. This is like one, like my second time using it. I really like it. At first I didn't like it, but now I do. So I think it just takes practice. And just perfecting that, yep. So next I'm just brushing out my hair, um, yeah, that's normal, and then putting it up in a ponytail for what we're going to do next. So whenever I curl my hair, I put it up in a ponytail because I find it's way easier and it gives your hair a lot more volume. So if you have straighter hair, like naturally, definitely try this trick. I don't know if it'll work for you, but it works for me, even though I have naturally wavy, wavy hair. So just try it and see if you like it that way. I think it helps. So plus I think having shorter hair may help. Shorter hair may help. So yeah, that's look number one. It's like very loose and just regular and you don't really have to worry about it. It's just there. You know? It's my favorite. There's that. Okay, next we're just going to twist up one side. This is like adding an elegant touch to it. I like this. It just gives an extra little touch without um, being anything you really need to worry about. Then I'm just doing the other side for like look number three. And just, I like this too. It's a little bit more girly and feminine if that's what you're going for. Next, my dress is from Red Camel. I think you can get that. I'm not, I think you can get that at like Macy's or um, Belks. Don't quote me on that though. And then my shirt, my dress is from Urban Outfitters. It's from the thing, the brand Cooperative. I'm pretty sure. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.